Um, so the next one, the next major um, thing that a lot of people think about is um, the resort islands. Now Maldives obviously is very exotic and um, expensive in a lot of people's minds, uh, but that's how it has been promoted because the resort islands are very expensive. Come, I mean, for me, uh, I found it very expensive to pay five hundred dollars a night or four hundred dollars a night for uh, overwater villa or a beach bungalow. I didn't find the need for it and um, also the resort islands just being restricted to one resort per island and literally no no access to anybody else in terms of no locals, no cafes, no uh, restaurants. Um, I didn't find um, that was suitable for me and I'm not generally a resort person so I didn't really look into it too, in, into too much detail. But Maldives has these local islands where locals live and the government has given them permission over the last maybe I think 10 or 15 years to um, build guest houses, Airbnbs, operate Airbnbs, uh, operate um, uh, uh, couch surfing, uh, all that option is there and did, you just need to do a little bit of research on uh, where you can um, uh, find these on which not all the islands in all the atolls have this option. So just doing a bit of homework before you go uh, would be really, really helpful. But the fact is, uh, yes, Maldives has the resort islands, which is um, uh, which is restricted to one resort per island, and those are the fancy ones that you see, and they are amazing. No doubt, they are amazing. Um, and uh, but you can get the exact same experience or a similar experience in terms of the the water, the beaches, the marine life, the the activities that you do on local islands at a fraction of a cost. Um, where, when something uh, in where something in a resort island cost you five hundred dollars a night, you could get I think I saw hotels for about 40 US dollars or 30 US dollars per night on some of the local islands the ones I stayed I stayed in Fulidu um, were about $70 and $50 respectively per night on Mafushi it was a I chose a slightly more expensive one which was about a hundred US dollars per night um, that was breakfast inclusive and things like that so um, but the experience you get, the, the joy of uh, the sunrises and the sunsets, the beauty of the water, the colors, the warmth, the marine life, everything is exactly the same on a local island versus a guest island, or sorry, resort island. Um, uh, you just need to do a bit of research on which part of the uh, atolls you want to go, whether it's north, south, east or west, and choose one or two islands to go and stay and experience. And if you are staying in local islands, a lot of local islands offer these uh, day trips to resort islands where you can just go spend a day and come back uh, and experience the luxury of a resort island too. Um, it costs you about $100-$150 depending on uh, where you are going from. But if you really want to experience the luxury, that's, that's where you go. The other main difference between local island and resort island is that um, on resort island you get alcohol. Um, whereas in local islands you don't get any alcohol, not in the cafes, not in the restaurants, not even in the supermarkets, nothing. That's because Maldives is a Muslim country and um, alcohol is not accessible uh, generally. So unless you are paying um, and staying in a resort island, uh, you don't have access to alcohol while you are in Maldives.